running mix. It's a, I don't know if you. Plus game Monday. Mm. Good morning. Welcome to mix once again. Uh, uh, Mitch. Still feel a bit tired. Yeah. Half past five. Yes. And mm. that was the case. But 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 this is what's early. you actually woke. No, I don't because usually I'm 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 in media. <laughs> I'm in media. You have people that like see people burning in a crush. I need. To to know oh, when then I need to know. If that is not but if if it comes it to be for six o'clock in the morning, if it comes to news, it ah. wasn't. the then issue I hate with whatsapp group is group I can't unfortunately I I'm say I'm just saying if you're so information is coming AM my piece. Yeah, that really I pissed my me off. That well, was since you are pissed off, no, I just really. No, 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 no. Like, I ask you know, because it's no, your problem. No. Your insomnia. It's, sorry, <laughs> it's really. Yeah. So, in no regard for people uh, uh, that on is a public holiday, no selfishness, and no selfishness thinks uh -huh. that the WhatsApp group must turn around. You, it must be done it's for work purposes. Yeah. It's a group it's uh, not if you it was a work so what's up going on seven you, to but you, you uh, just text him directly, him directly. these are out of traffic between three and four o'clock causing It is not known why the matter was reported that the alleged incident at the Onjokwe village in the Oshikoto region. According to the weekend, Sunday, the 5th of December. Suspect who is at the parents' house where he also lives. We're not 
home. And finally, just by stable processes, systems and institutions. In the face of untold losses, our government has stood strong and cabinet has responded in 20 cents. Taking a brief look at the financial indicators, the Namibia dollar is trading against the US dollar at 16 Namibia dollars against the euro at cents and against the British pound at 21 Namibia dollars and 20 cents. This is Informante Live and these were our top stories. You can find more on our website which is informante.web.na The network is so bad I don't even know if people heard you. Right, shall we look at the coronavirus cases? You, uh, we, we, we need to check um, Francois I don't know, the, the network is very, very bad People this morning. People can't hear us, yeah. People can't hear us. Our numbers are at a, at a very whew, low 33 viewers at the moment. Uh, but let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's continue. Uh, we will try and... Uh, Do you know that we can hear you? <laughs> You're like speaking to him by the mic and we'll go here. Is, is your mic on? Yes, it's yeah, on, yeah. Okay. Okay, but let's just... Phew, yeah, I think it, cuts. It, yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to continue when people can't even hear us. So. Oh, okay, is it only the stream that's off or... No, mine is still on. It just says live video interrupted. Ah... Like. <laughs> uh, Let me just listen to it. There's a moment we put this thing off, we're going to be off completely. Oh, you, you, you're talking about the router? The router, yes. Um, what is going... So why didn't you just stop the stream and go call Alvin? Because we're not like we can do anything. It's off anyway, right? It's off. <laughs> the numbers are, are rising again. We had 66. Um, Okay, it seems to be coming back. It seems to be coming back, but I don't know if this is going to be now the... We got so much to talk about today. Yeah. And uh, if, if the network is this bad... It seems to be it's fine. Continue. It seems like it's fine. Um, so, Kaufi, yeah, let's, let's, let's start off with the coronavirus cases uh, and numbers. Um, it's been weekend again. Yes, it was weekend. And who stout was you? Well, we are currently standing at 3,326 active cases. Ah. So please remember that we were on 1,300 before the weekend. And uh, this has definitely, this weekend, in terms of testing, this has made an impact. So we had 3,326 active cases with daily new cases yesterday of 578. Okay. And then we had two deaths, and that was on the 11th of oh, okay. January. In the meantime, the overall cases, we've had 132,849 registered cases in Namibia. We recovered 125,946 with 3,577 deaths thus far. So, yeah, this is definitely still a figure to be looked at, at least for the next two days. Because on Wednesday, the president is talking about mm. the okay. yeah. So, yeah, let's, let's see what is, what is happening. I think also, you know, if, if people are traveling to their holiday destinations, yeah. that once they get there, that they would not move around that much because they are then at their yeah, yeah, yeah. holiday destinations. And that we might then see the, the figures either leveling out. Yeah. That is my speculation, but I'm not too sure. If that is going to be so, but at least that, that is the thought that is in my head mm. regarding all of this. Then today, the weather. Looking at the weather today, the interior mostly sunny and hot to very hot in the south, elsewhere partly cloudy and hot to very hot, with a few to isolated thunder showers in the north in places. A fresh, strong southwesterly wind over the southern half of the interior. The coast today partly cloudy and cool to warm with wind moderate to fresh southwesterly. 
then looking at the maximum temperatures for today in Vintuk, today 34, Walfus Bay 27 with Swakopmund at 22. Going over to the Zambezi region, Katima Mulilo today at 34, um, or Kakarara 36, Omuthia 34, Shakati also 34. Then in Ochimorongo 36 with um, Riobot at 34. Then traveling down to the south, Marintal today with 40 degrees, the hottest place in Namibia today. Once again, Marintal. How much? 40. Hey! Kip at 35. <coughs> and last but not least, looking at the eastern parts of the country in Betapos 36 with the wildest also 36. And uh, that is your weather. Kaufi, thank you, thank you very much. Um, everybody says, Mutondenje says, it's fine now. Uh, Sylvia Wakumbwa says, it's bad, but also some. Thank you. Yeah, dear Dirk and Dan. Thanks, Ro. Thanks, Ro. Uh, Rihanna Jager says, we can hear you now. That the show Angan has a belief. Uh, is asking, uh, as Mitch no kama gesond. Uh, we've been speculating on Thursday yes. during the show. Uh, <coughs> there we go. Yeah. We speculated on Thursday that somebody amongst us decided very uh, <coughs> confidently uh, that uh, they're going to make uh, this a longer, long weekend than some of us. Yes. Yeah. So please explain yourself. Everybody said it on the stream. So maybe you must explain yourself. What happened that you are that you were so sick on Thursday? Oh, but today you are so, <laughs> so fine. I expected it. It's the only thing they can say. Huh? There's nothing else to say. It's the only thing okay. Well, HR like policy it says. It your doctor letter ge bring. Yeah. All right. Well, like all right, and of course, if you are not at work on Friday, company policy says you must bring a pimp for you. Uh, company <laughs> policy says you must. Br it was a Friday. No, it was a Thursday. Which is a mini Friday because you have public holiday no, on Friday. No, not right. It was a Thursday. Yes, but that's. I did HR. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else are you doing? HR have to do with trust rules. Oh, Sally, but you're straining. If it's a day before the weekend, yeah. Okay, my so exactly no, but it is a day before the weekend. It was a day before the weekend. That's what I'm saying. Okay, explain. I please had a lot of them inboxing me and asking, tell me, oh my guy, please get well soon and all that. You know, they were inboxing me. My boss told me that if I'm having any type of symptoms, not so I should go get tested. And I went there. You did the right thing. Yeah. Oh, you did the right thing. Yeah. So how's your result? Ah, it's negative. Obviously, it's negative. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Flu so. Symptoms, you went to go and check it out. But you're vaccinated. Yeah. Oh. Company policy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. My point. If you are, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to. Uh, See, yeah. you don't even read, read your company no. policies. <laughs> my boss told me that. So you want to say my All boss right. doesn't know the company policy? Sometimes we don't. <laughs> that was fantastic. Kofi. What about the weather? I'm just Go kidding. I know you read it. <laughs> I hear. I have a good one. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, yeah. It was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you go to Swakop? No, I didn't. Because my friend that I was supposed to go with <laughs> actually is a primary contact. And she's asthmatic. So she's like down and out. She's got symptoms. Yeah, uh, I was told on Thursday afternoon in no uncertain terms, ons rainy. To my bro. Yes, yes. Exe, you know. Huh? The, the volumes are up. It's all up. I, I can hear you guys. I can hear myself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jay, Jay Klingo could be fair, and that is the reason why I was asking you: is your is is your mic on? Can can you guys yeah. hear um, uh, Mitch clearly? Can you hear him clearly? Uh, your mic is okay. 
Yeah, but um, uh, Roe Vieira says you are allowed to have one day off in the month without explanation. Mitch moet nie gesê word nie. Okay. Maar die ken jy ons a company policy Roe. It's a, hoe kom Roe, hoe kom, hoe kom this like Roe, and, Roe ken alles. Okay. You know, you know, this is such a unique company. Um, our company procedures are like this thick. I'm not even kidding you. And they keep getting yeah. bigger by the day. You get a company policy almost every day, a new one that's been signed in. So, for example, right, if you take leave before a, a weekend, doesn't mean like Friday was a long weekend. So if you take leave on a Thursday, but Friday is a public holiday, that's a sick day before the weekend. That means technically you have to bring a doctor's note. That's our procedure. Peshon says, we will not accept Katutura Hospital letters. <laughs> on scan van die rot. We can nie vir ou Mike nie met die way. Wie is ou Mike? Laat ek ook ou Mike. <laughs> so, ou Mike is this dude that... that is, is your Mike on? Your <coughs> Mike is on. Huh? Your Mike is on. Mm. Can you me work? I can. I mean, I Roger said the stream is 100% now. Okay. Uh, can't you make one? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Um, um, because Diem Chum Chisel is saying, I don't think Mitch's mic is on. Those are old comments. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The latest one says that it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no, then it's, then it's fine. Uh, guys, it's been, uh, yeah, what a weekend. Um, we obviously we're going to get a little bit into um into the news um apparently it's still off yo guys but how is but your mic is off shalako says still is off um but mitch's mic is off uh uh shalako maybe you you know you technical guys because there's nothing here on this board does you want to go to the other mic that indicates yeah Try go try go try his hmm? mic. Go to his mic. But there's nothing that indicates that something is wrong here. Uh, Maria The labor law gives you one day off without explanation. I didn't dispute that. Trusco I'm saying it can't be a Friday or a Monday. Trusco ma. needs to stop dictating. No, <laughs> but we are entitled. Actually, we're given two leave days a month. You don't have to tell people where you're going if it's a Tuesday or Wednesday or a Thursday, right? Thursday provided Friday is not a public mm. holiday. But before the long weekend or after the, the weekend, you have to give a doctor's letter. This is the policy. Maria, that, that wasn't an old comment. Mitch's mic is not on. Uh, then why did this guy say we're 100% now? Yeah, because the comment of Jim Sh- Dion Shimsizo was uh, right before uh, Rose. Yeah. So, that mic verki. No, use that mic. I'm telling you. I mean, just use that mic. Otherwise, you're really not gonna. Nobody's gonna hear you. Okay. Can 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 you guys hear? Can you guys hear Mitch from Kaufi's mic? Just say yes or no, and then we can continue this. Yeah. Show. Don't you also front show? Maybe just wanna go listen. John Shombe says it is not his mic; it's his voice. <laughs> Can 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 we hear you? Prat um, Pratma Pratma Biki. Can you hear me in a word? Uh can guys just give us a heads up. Also just speak in the mic so that people can hear. Yeah, he is speaking in the mic. Say again. It's harder. Okay. Oh actually sorry, the stream is like two minutes behind, so they they're not at this part yet um. but anyway uh, Valentino Emmanuel is asking what will be a new slogan for Christmas or for December are we going to continue in the same slogan of fish rot yeah it's the please please bring us yeah a new slogan Elvin uh, says no both mics are not working also Maria and uh, Neville please stop yelling into your mics that's a funny thing we're not <laughs> We're not. So if if it sounds like we're yelling, then you guys need to come and check it out because we're not yelling. There is something wrong. Yeah, there's clearly something there. wrong. We need to stop yelling into the mics. Kaye. Okay. 
सख्त अपराध मरिया ये बात सर ओके सो इफ बोथ इफ बोथ माइक्स आर ऑफ आई विल ट्राई एंड स्पीक अ लिटिल बिट फर्दर फ्रॉम द माइक इफ इफ माय इफ माय वॉइस इज टू स्ट्रांग फॉर द माइक बट या गाइस व्हाट अ वीकेंड एंड व्हेन आई से व्हाट अ वीकेंड आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन द स्पोर्टिंग फ्रंट द ओनली स्पोर्टिंग इवेंट of this past weekend of any relevance was the conclusion of the fraudulent oh. <laughs> yeah fraud oh, what do you call it fraudulent, fraudulent one. one yeah no fraudulent <laughs> one race yeah. uh, maria i don't know if you if I you i didn't watch if you didn't watch no. wow 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 wow. So guys, I would need your comments and your opinions here on what happened yesterday afternoon in the last race uh of the Formula 1 season uh where Max crash stopping <laughs> and Lewis Hamilton went head to head uh in the uh um in the conclusion um of uh, of the formula 1 season it was breath breath taking uh verstappen won i thought so uh no 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 no, 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 no. Win. it's not that einfach uh okay. lewis hamilton was obviously leading the whole race mm-hmm. and uh i remember i think it was i think in the last 5 because it was 58 laps that they were that they were driving and in the last five laps i think there was a safety car issue now uh, you guys who understand the the laws better out there in terms of safety cars apparently you're not supposed to if there's if the safety car crashes you're not supposed to pass the safety car or whatever mm-hmm. you're supposed to because lewis hamilton had a 13 second lead mm-hmm. this car is winning it mm-hmm. so and then the law sort of take you know just a life of its own yesterday afternoon uh on that final lap somebody told the drivers or lewis um max verstappen that he can pass the safety car mm-hmm. and he passed and him and lewis hamilton they were head to head and he passed hamilton it was shocking everybody uh Lewis Hamilton and his team on Mercedes they basically yeah. lodged a a final, a final complaint uh it is it seems like it's going to land in the court of law and uh but it was dramatic if you know what uh, Mary I know you're not sport wise but even Hilda what is sport goed ken nie she no 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 she was an administrator there's a difference between being an administrator and doing sport yourself yeah okay so even her who does not really watch formula 1 she was head and toes into this yesterday afternoon so wow and uh congratulations it was uh Why are you congratulating him i think it still is it's being <sighs> you know what it was uh, tuva it's it's draining it was it's emotionally draining to he won he like he won he won a big uh to a big or something whatever mm. against the organizers or so yeah and he won yeah. now if you're appealing the decision yeah. about passing or uh, whatever then it's a technical issue you mm. could he could have won on a technicality mm-hmm. which mm. if it's overturned he didn't win mm. Yeah but at this point like for the fans it's mm. just like yo he he won he's on he, he stood there on that number 1 yeah he yeah won. no it's 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 like that uh, obviously it was very heartbreaking to see Lewis Hamilton uh not clinching the number so how did he let the guy pass him if he was 13 seconds ahead yeah, because because, was, because the 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 new law that was made up right there said that uh Verstappen can pass the safety cars and, and you were not allowed to pass the safety cars 
Oh. Because, so he because thought the guy is still behind you. He, he thought the guy is still far behind you. Uh, Be- yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, and then as Lewis was checking you on his shoulder, what was he saw? How did you allow the law says he needs to stay behind the safety car because there was a crash? Mm-hmm. I'm 13 seconds ahead of you. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, whoop. You just the man, lungs the man. Whoop. And I mean, if you do have two uh, uh, professionals at equal strength, if you make a mistake, it's gone. It's gone. So, but yeah, it was wow. No, I guess I guess here. But then again, I must say, the 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 racist comments towards Lewis Hamilton by white Africans, Namibians on social media the last three months. Ne? And I took uh, quite a lot of screenshots about this yesterday because the moment I said it, it was, ach, nevel, uh, shial vero piri issue. No, it's not about being vero piri issue. Uh, if, if, and that's why we keep on saying, you know what, if people say they don't see color, okay, it's 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 the biggest lie under the sun yeah, because the reason why this guy is hated it's first and foremost that he traded on on territory that was not cut out for us mm-hmm. it's just my opinion mm-hmm. and this guy has made such a success of it that you know the last seven eight years okay he, he obviously didn't win it but go read the comments on social media about an Afrikaans comments about this guy about Lewis Hamilton. It is it is disgusting. Kandra Just says Hamilton is cocky. Oh, who's not cocky? If I mean something, something. Do we have a problem with cockiness is what I'm asking. Uh, that you sh- we shouldn't have a problem with cockiness. Yeah. So 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 who is not cocky? Let's let's look at Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Flo- yeah. Floyd Mayweather. Use white examples actually. Huh? Look at Rona- uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo is cocky. <laughs> He's cocky. Huh? When you're the best at what you If you're do. best at what you're doing, you are you're cocky. supposed to be cocky. Yeah. Okay? Uh, uh, the Springbok team. Uh, okay? Cocky. As the Boca Ven, yeah. it emboldens you. Mm-hmm. And you can be confident and cocky about what you do. Yeah. What is wrong with the cockiness People of... People want humility. I don't know why. <laughs> 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 I really don't know why. People you know? Somebody to stay humble they shouldn't be they should who, who wants to stay at the same position like they can't be humble humble obviously yeah I, 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 i'm just saying if i'm the best at my trade there's no way you guys are going to have me humble i want to be uh, cocky about it muhammad ali yeah muhammad ali come on tyson fury come on. tyson fury white guy yeah he is cocky as hell when he talks what he's saying or what when he says what he's saying what w- uh, even if you say uh, he's cocky man you you're pro- you're a white person and your comment goes like this he's a cocky black bastard <laughs> then your mic is a problem uh, yeah. i'm sorry i just have to let you know because okay. you can speak your heart out but nobody can hear you. Right, uh, no yeah yeah, yeah. So apparently right. apparently these two mics are not working yeah, so yeah. Are, yeah. are they on though uh, everything is on alles is on alles is on uh, uh mar, 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 it's okay, yeah, Mitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we 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 will sort of hear you through my mic. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh let me read a few comments. Uh good morning, alle zusammen. Schon euch wiedersehen. Norma good. Uh Lamek Konjashili says, I think Mercedes released a memo suspending their participation or whatever with immediate effect. Speaking under correction. Uh uh, uh <laughs> Mitch Mike is not working. Uh estimate says it was expected they'll let him win. Really pissed me off. Lewis deserved that title. Fixed win is in all s- fixed win corruption is in all sport. Um um yes, Ro, I saw that the appeal has been lost already yesterday. Um yeah, Kandra, um it's okay to be cocky. Um Roviera says the hype around Hamilton and Hamilton ended in crocodile tears. The appeal was even rejected. Uh, uh, Grayeno, Gray, Rasberg, 
in football terms, FIA said golden goal. Um, Penda Nali Shiyuka says Mercedes shot themselves in the foot by not putting during the first safety car. Penda, you know what? Uh, they probably didn't need to put because Lewis felt that his tires were strong enough to actually take him to uh, uh, th through through that race. Uh, Penda says uh, we can hear him now. Ryan Finis, uh, stop smiling. Tuck and angles of Afrikaans. What is your take on what happened yesterday? I know you're going to have a lot to say when I walk through the building um, um, an hour from now. So, <laughs> so please um, um, share, your, share your views here. But it was um, a very dramatic end um, to the season. So, uh, yeah, no more sport last week. Uh, of the of of a working week for many of us, and yeah, it's your last two three days, yep. Duva. Yep. Your last two three days. Looking forward to. Yeah, of course. Ne. Yeah. Okay. So, what do we have in the news today? All right. Um. Obviously, the m biggest story this weekend was the. The fatal crash yeah. where 16 people died. Um, the Namibian today has the headline, People are burning, yeah. quote-unquote. Survivor of crash that claims 16 called mom after escaping flames. He said, mom, mom, the bus I traveled in has caught fire and people are burning. These were the words uttered by the 18-year-old David Kashale uh, to his mother before 4 o'clock, which is in the morning. On Friday morning, seconds after he had jumped out through the window of a Toyota Quantum minibus to escape the flames that claimed the lives of 15 other traveling with him. A total of 16 people died. 15 of them were in the Toyota Quantum, while one of the victims was in the uh, VW uh, Golf, which had been involved in the collision with the bus. Anyway, it goes on to say this kid actually traveled a day after his birthday. He had turned... Um, just 18 on the 9th and he was actually supposed to to drive on his birthday but the bus didn't get enough customers so the bus had come to collect him at his house at 2 that morning so uh, nobody is really clear on what exactly happened but i mean if a bus is collecting passengers at two o'clock and by four o'clock just before four o'clock uh, between okanja and ochivarongo is having an accident i mean you can kind of just imagine the speed at which it was traveling um, but I think what's so sad about this is like babies died. I think a, a mother and her newborn baby uh, were involved in this accident as well. There were also three brothers from the same village that died. Um, there was another man that was on his way to a wedding that obviously uh, proceeded on Saturday. So all in all, uh, great tragedy. Uh, the... Um, the driver of the Quantum had initially survived but died the Saturday morning. Um, yeah. Um, Kashele, the mother, says uh, three of the women who perished are related to her husband, including one with a three-week-old baby. The driver, who we all know very well, he has also died. It, it was all because of God's mercy upon his life. God saved him, not himself or any of us, but I thank God for his kindness and protection. This is obviously the mother thanking God for sparing her son, who just turned 18. Uh, Kashale say David will begin cancelling sessions this week. Uh, the grade 11 pupil at Emmanuel uh, Shifidi Secondary School was not able to speak during the interview with the Namibian. Um, horrendous scene. I mean, if you can just imagine um, an 18-year-old having to see people burning um, in a minibus. And I think where we are right now is that they've asked relatives to come and submit their DNA because these people that died in this bus burned beyond uh, recognition. And so they have to basically conduct DNA testing on all the bodies so that they can give the rightful body to the right family. So no burials are going to be happening at least in the next three months because DNA is done in SA and we know that takes forever. So yeah, that's I think the on the main front. That's the big news this weekend. Uh, wow, um, it, it's it's shocking. I saw a video 
on on the traffic group where somebody shared the video of um, this burning bus as they were driving past this quantum mini bus um, yes you know what um, I remember when we were in complete lockdown um, um, a year ago under the state of emergency if there was one thing that we were happy about was yes, that people yes. are not on the roads and there are no accidents um, I mean condolences to to the families out there yeah, yeah condolences to the family yeah. like, I just feel for that 18 year old as mm. well me, me just knowing some of uh, uh, my family members that have been in this accidents, uh, some some friends that I know, mm. um, I would not mention them in because one of them is a very, it's a well known. I see. He, his, his family also yeah. uh, perished, perished that way. Uh -huh. And one day when I asked him, well, why do you, why? Why do you always drink a lot and all that? Mm. And he was trying to explain to me this thing that but happened. Yeah. And <coughs> sorry, in his voice you could hear that he didn't still deal with it in yeah. a proper way, like going through therapy and all that. Mm. You could hear it in his voice, and I can see what what it's doing to him to this day. And for him to be 18 and seeing and witnessing this, mm. I just feel for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, a, a, a word of caution to all Namibians out there. Once again, you know what? On the road, if you, if we are traveling, let's be mindful of how we drive. Um, I always say for a very long time, guys. Okahanya Ochivarongo, that road. Yeah. Ochivarongo Otavi, mm -hmm. that road. I it, it it for me it always feels like the corridor of death. I mean even even to me Boshivelo. Ne? Mm -hmm. Just driving through there also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's pretty pretty much pretty much from Okahanja till Oshivelo. Yeah. Pretty much you have to be on the lookout. Uh, I know after Oshivelo it becomes easier when there's donkeys or pipites, so those things will force you to slow down. Yeah. Well of knee. Yeah. When they donkeys worry me. Mm. Yeah. Less yeah. Else fast yeah. But I'm saying they're acting no, at, at least as speed bumps. Yes, yes a speed bump. No, so you're right. They, they force you to, yeah. to, to lower your speed. And for me, it's also like between Valves and Swako, that little road. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nighttime. And mm. because they put on a big roadblock there, mm. it's always there. I think the, the accident rate there has also come down a bit. But mm. seriously, that road has also came down a like bit. Another one is between Usakos and Swakop. Mm -hmm. The road is very tiny. narrow. Mm -hmm. It's a tiny, tiny. Mm -hmm. And there's always trucks. Road. And there's always and trucks. And people are not patient for the trucks. Yeah. So they want to overtake. Yeah. And you can't see in front of you. And there comes an accident. Yeah. So um, we'll be driving on Saturday morning. And uh, you know what? Uh, all we can say, yeah, we're just praying. To everybody out there, please uh, take yeah, care of yourselves. Safe. Take care of yourselves. So another one. <coughs> yeah. Osvali Werni. 45,000 warrants of arrest. Osvali. Linked <laughs> to Vintuk traffic offenses. Leicester. Just listen to the headline again. 45,000 warrants of arrest linked to Vintuk traffic offenses. Okay, we are listening. The Vintuk City Police say there are about 45,000 warrants of arrest active in, the v in Vintuk related to traffic violations. City Police Traffic Management Unit Commander Adam Aseb told the Namibian that the warrants of arrest are for contempt of court where the driver has the option to either appear in court or should they admit their guilt pay an admission of guilt fine we have a duty it is an instruction from the court for the person 
who failed to appear in court to be arrested and brought before the court to answer as why he or she failed to appear the first in the first place, he said. When a driver is arrested for contempt of court, it will carry an additional $2,000 fine and thereafter the actual offense for which one has given a notice will also be dealt with, said ASAP. So, mensen, uh, als jullie outstanding traffic offenses hebt, uh, if you know you got a ticket somewhere that you were supposed to pay, but you never pitched up, just know that you're in contempt of court because you were up supposed to appear or at least pay the fine, and you did neither of those two things. Ik moet ook zelf gaan check, want ik zei niet, ik is niet clear niet. Um, now, why, now why were you looking at me, Maria? Because the day they come look for you once here at the <laughs> at work. <laughs> I remember when uh, there was a warrant of arrest out for me a few years ago. Uh, no, for me and Quentin. <laughs> I remember it was around to 2010. Uh, 2009 to 2010. Uh, luckily, Quentin was not here. And uh, <laughs> to come tell him, I'm you. <laughs> now, these two officers, they are laughing while they are arresting me. I never want to laugh. Why are you saying that luckily he was not here? No, no, no. He wasn't no. arrested. Yeah, he so was he lucky he wasn't arrested. Not yeah. So he could sort out his things before he, he, he Ish, gets arrested. Guys, if you know that you have uh, probably, and it's like uh, Maria is saying, if you do have, we all need to travel this week. Yeah. Okay? Some of us, what a big sack it. Ni mich goed wat moet werk. You saw me. Yeah, let her play. Some of us who can go, please make sure that you have your 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 responsibilities settled no, not 145,000 uh Madu uh it's 45,000 warrants of arrest uh 45,000 warrants of it's 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 a lot it's a lot it's uh, um, so they said 2000 2000 and, uh, and then obviously whatever else you have to to pay for oh the fine and the drinking and driving fine oh that's the nice team block team block the team block yeah yeah Romance. yeah i remember when i was uh, at the roadblocks name i i i usually used to call my friends and tell them hey guys if you come from here at at Swaka roadblock mm. Do not, do not come here and you be driving while you're drunk. Mm. Because mm. we are checking all the Maar ons is maar sterk man. We are checking all the cars. Ons is maar sterk as ons getwalle is. Ja. Toen moest die ons hebben kans van. En dan is die hele december gespoel word dan. Ja. So please, please guys. Um, <coughs> Make sure that uh, your documentation is your documentations are in order, um, uh, not to spoil your <coughs> your Christmas. I love the story on the <laughs> on the front page of the Namibian uh, of the mayor of Omuthia, mm. uh, Johannes Ndeutepo. Uh, the Omuthia Mayor Johannes Ndeutepo has defended a decision to hold the Omuthia Council's year and function at Halali Resort in Etosha National Park over the course of three days. Town Council staff and at least two Swapo councillors spent three nights at Halali, situated 135 kilometers south of Omuthia. The council is made up of four swapo and three ipc councillors none of the ipc councillors attended the event okay is it by choice <laughs> Seeker by choice the town's deputy mayor petrina shindi who is an ipc member said she was not impressed that staff and two swapo councillors left for tosha on thursday afternoon and came back on saturday afternoon De Tepo, however, told the Namibian that he sees nothing wrong with spending three days at the resort at the expense of the town council because the event was budgeted for under human resource cost. Yeah, um, I, I, 
I do agree with the mayor. There's nothing wrong with having a year-end function for three days non-stop in Etosha. If we've budgeted for this year-end function, then surely uh, on taxpayers' money, yes, we can have a three-day <laughs> yeah, well, our guys, man, they don't have this type of like uh, uh, scandals or whatsoever, like that you like see and say, Oh, this is the level. It's always this type of stuff. You had function for three uh -huh. days. Uh -huh. <coughs> you know, yeah. I, I want us to have scandals like, you know, probably <laughs> our president or like our minister decided, Yeah, me, I'm going to take taxpayers' money and build myself mansions we around the. <laughs> Around, uh, uh, let's say, Dubai, in Dubai, what start a business there? Except that stuff. I will play you. I will play you a clip. Mm -hmm. ne? I don't know if you guys heard this clip. Mm -hmm. This is. I don't, don't tell me I deleted this clip. Okay, it is a clip uh, um, that was uh, done in um, what is the country's name? Um, Uganda, okay. Um, ah, come on. I deleted the clip where uh, a, a minister was basically talking about um, how government officials are spending taxpayers' money, um, and and there should be a lifestyle audit for all Ugandan civil servants or ministers. And your very Museveni said there is nothing wrong with stealing government money. <laughs> as long as you spend government money in your country, at least we are not taking the money outside the country. We are spending government stolen money in Uganda. And you can clearly see that obviously, look at these buildings. Okay? At least they are spending the money in Uganda. Disgusting, disgusting comments. But yeah, um, have your say on this on this specific topic. Um, um, comment. Um, give give us your opinion on this issue. It is year and functions at the moment. Uh, Muhausi Boli says, if it's an annual Christmas gift to citizens to transfer their bonuses to city of Vinduk, uh, you're probably talking about the uh, the traffic fines. Uh, Deshaun once again says but it's a normal practice if you come to work on Monday because you are sick over the weekend uh, Emilia Magorja says Neville if you had an iPhone it would have been in your deleted items but yeah ne. yeah it is somewhere in my deleted <laughs> items Exit. <laughs> 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 Guys, uh, we, we're going to try and keep it light for this week. Um, please share with us where you're going to be uh, for, this, um, for these holidays. Uh, we can clearly already see that um, the roads are quite deserted. Mm -hmm. um, as I was driving to the office this morning, I could yeah. clearly see that uh, okay, the schools are closed. Um, um, some of my friends and family are already on holiday outside the country, not out, not just outside the country, but outside of, out of, uh, out of uh, the city. Uh, where are you guys going to be out there? Please share with us uh, what you're going to be doing. Um, so you flying out on Wednesday evening? You said it already no, last. You said you're flying out. Now you forgot. Yeah, no. Never mind. Okay. I will no, not. I don't want. I <laughs> Me flying out, I don't want you to go deeper then go I'm deep up, up. All right. Yes. Why would I do that? If, if I because some maybe you don't know. No, I know. All We've right. been speaking about this all along. I will not be doing that. Yeah, no. Uh, if it will depend on my COVID, I'm a bit worried about whether. Or, uh, I mean, I don't have symptoms, but I was at a bridal shower this weekend, so I'm a bit worried. Um, because just because so many people are testing positive, so if my results can come back um, negative, yes, I can I can be gone on on Wednesday. That is a vech. What do you guys think about 
think about the Miss, Miss Universe thing. Yeah, because Shalaka was just talking about it. He just from Chelsea he prat. Uh, yeah, it, it was some kind of an anticlimax for me because it seems like yesterday the news filtered through that uh, Chelsea was in the yeah. top five uh, just for us to wake up this morning because I wasn't prepared to wait until 2, 3 o'clock this morning to watch um, uh, the show. I was very tired and um, um, yeah. But congratulations to her. Um, Is she top five? No, she w she wasn't top five. She wasn't top twenty-one. I I don't even know where she ended. The Shalako, please give us a little bit more context as to where she where she ended up. Beautiful dress. Seriously. Beautiful dress. I th I think it was beautiful. Yeah. The 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 costume, the national costume, was I think very very beautiful. Mm. Um, of course, look, I love Chelsea. I know her personally. I've shot her a few times. I've been in the same circle as her. I mm. she's she's a cool girl. She's a beautiful girl. She's all these things. But obviously, I wasn't supporting. I didn't support uh, her her journey to to Miss Universe just because only because it's being held in Israel. Mm. And you, we know how we feel about Israel because of Palestine. Mm. So, uh, I mean, for the state of Israel, it was a PR campaign mm. to host, you know, this pageant there and show Israel to the world. And, you know, they were taking the contestants around and, you know, showing all these wonderful things, which is it's, it's a PR move, obviously. Um, I would have preferred there were some um, uh, winners, title winners around the world that uh, didn't go because of principal reasons. They said we're not gonna we're not gonna participate in Miss Universe only because it's being held in Israel and well free Palestine basically, and um, I know Chelsea was struggling to to get funding for it. I think she needed yeah. half a million, and I remember yeah. even at the time when she was practically begging, and she was she was practically begging for the funds because she even started a GoFundMe account. Imagine having to start a GoFundMe account to attain Miss Universe, right? Um, I think uh, MTC gave her 100000 and the rest, she started a GoFundMe account and she was basically just going mm. around, hey, may I what you like? if everybody mm. just gives me $2, we mm. can what, 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 what. Um, and even though I love Chelsea and although I was supporting her, I, that's something I was secretly hoping she would not attend. I was hoping she would go to Miss World rather. Um, and go and try and win the title there just to take a principal position as people that also experience apartheid. Um, but of course that didn't happen. Um, and I mean, I don't blame her only because I know her activism doesn't have to reflect mine. We, all, mm -hmm. we're not, we don't have to fight for the same things. Maybe mm. for her it's a non-issue. Mm. Maybe for her, her dream of winning the title is bigger yeah. than this politics of Israel. We, like I said, I don't expect her to care. That's why I'm not holding it against her. But just like principally, I couldn't support her journey. So I, I didn't watch it. I, I saw bits and pieces as they trickle uh, via social media and then they make it to my WhatsApp. I'm not on social media anymore. But So I've seen things trickling down and I've seen her beautiful gown. I thought she, she's, she's a stunning woman and all these things. But um, I can't say I'm not happy that she didn't win uh, Miss Universe in Israel. Right? Like... That would just blow my mind. Uh, I see Miss South Africa was in the top five again. Um, Vedi Kayere says, I don't know where people heard that she made it to top five. It wasn't reported so by any credible news source. Amelia Magoja says, uh, maybe just for your information, Vedi, because this is what I saw yesterday. Uh, she was top five in the category of most vote, most votes voted on social media who reported that um it was in namibian yesterday i saw a link oh. by, by the namibian yesterday that's where uh we got you know why we got so excited yesterday when we saw that and we're like wow we got a chance to actually clinch another miss world i miss universe title but it was not to be um uh, Estomich says she didn't make top 16, Chelsea. I thought she'll do well. I don't think she was prepared mentally, emotionally, and physically. The hot Adriana Lima was one of the judges. 
Okay. Uh, Vedi says, Miss Universe has become rather predictable over the years. There's always been a handful of the same countries that always make it to top 16. India, Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Philippines, yes. USA, etc. And South Africa for good measure. To represent Africa, I just don't think it's worth it anymore. Um, Actually, good there, was point. Even, there was even politics that, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised that um, Miss South Africa made it. You need to remember the little bit of context here is there was a lot of pushback and criticism for, for Miss South Africa specifically going to Miss Universe in Israel because of South Africa was an apartheid, you know, yes. underwent through apartheid. Mm. And Palestine is going through so the same uh, thing through exactly same thing so they were talking about how before apartheid um the reason they were also able to be liberated right is because there was i think some miss world that was taking i mean miss universe that was actually taking part in, in south africa mm -hmm. and so many people boycotted because of apartheid mm -hmm. so there was an expectation on miss south africa to do the same right and there was blowback and the organizers said we're gonna go forward the girl also said listen don't put your activism on me i'm gonna go this is my dream to win this so yeah. i'm gonna go and fulfill my dream nobody's gonna tell me anything and then when she arrived in 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 israel one of the delegates an official i think the prime minister or somebody a woman right came to meet her and there's a picture of them hugging and her tweet was something along the lines i'm so glad to have met this wonderful woman who stood her ground and um advocated for israel that israel is a good and strong state and that she did not buck to the pressure yeah. of whatever yeah. all pr right yeah. and so people were like check net she's gonna be already top five because mm -hmm. politics yeah but sometimes you have to ride the wave man mm -hmm. sometimes you just have to ride the at wave what price and then yeah, when you when you are on top, man. And but she didn't win, voice, so you can actually speak. But she didn't win, so now she's coming home with her title <coughs> and all yeah. this criticism. Like I wanted to ask that now. <laughs> so <laughs> let's say my people, like uh, somebody uh, in the states, I'm going to laugh out loud. Uh, the competition, I'm already top five probably. We have the last rounds, and something happens to a Namibian student mm. in in that same country that I have to be in, and this is already a. Big Nam it's big Namibian news that, oh, Mitch is representing Namibia there mm. as a comedian, top five. Mm. And then the activists come to me and they say, like, uh, please don't go stand with us so we can show <laughs> the United what, States. What, what would you do? Oh, you will still go? No, I will still go. Oh, okay. I will still go and go win the competition and in my speech say something like that. And if you don't win the competition? I will win. But you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. It's not up to you. Okay, I understand. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I, all, I'm, all I'm saying is that um, I remember in 1980 um, when, when South, South Africa was at the height of, 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 of apartheid. Um, um, so the Springbok team, the South African rugby team, traveled to New Zealand mm -hmm. to go and play the All Blacks. The New Zealand people protested yeah. against the South African yeah. rugby team. Mm -hmm. Don't come and set foot in New Zealand. We don't want to yeah. play you. Uh, because you're an apartheid state, uh, we want to have nothing to do with you. You're not supposed to be enjoy the same privileges as yeah. people who understand humanity yeah. now uh, i asked myself the question yesterday when when a lot of my afrikaner friends made this incendiary comments about lewis hamilton again yesterday on social media mm -hmm. about his activism when it comes to black lives matter mm -hmm. about taking the knee yeah, uh, comments like Black Lives Matter, it's a gat gesien, mm -hmm. uh, Black Lives Matter is a moor. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and obviously, uh, very underlying homophobic statements that they also made yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, verbatim Lee said, because you know, Hamilton was about to win this race. Okay? Mm. And somebody on Facebook said, but in Afrikaans, can somebody ask Lewis Hamilton how does it feel to push 
the cork back on a champagne bottle. Mm. Yes. Symbolically, you are trying to say we try to celebrate too early mm-hmm. by corking the champagne mm-hmm. or popping the champagne. Mm-hmm. But we know what it means when you say mm-hmm. it's down, it's, it's, it, it borders on homophobic lines. Mm-hmm. That and At least that's how I saw it. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if people really understand the difference between human rights and politics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you don't understand what my human rights are, that I need to live and breathe as much as you, and you water it down and you say it's politics, because this is what a lot of people say out there. <coughs> Um, this is politics. This is politics. But but the reason why we it can don't want personal politics. It can be personal politics, but there's nothing wrong with it. But 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 again, you know what? Uh, if my people are being murdered, of course I'm going to take on the personal politics of trying to make this a better life for them, for myself, for my kids in the future. Yeah. It can be personal politics, but it's also very hinged to my humanity. Exactly. And my human rights. Yeah. So it can be the same. I I, I generally find, by the way, the best activists mm. are people who advocate for something that's personal to them yeah so for example if you are an lgbtq community a- activist and you're from that community i think you will be a better activist because you understand issues if yeah. you're advocating for black lives matter and you're black i think you're a better activist you know if you're ac- advocating for women as a woman i think you're a better activist because it's personal to you it's 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 it's, it's so very personal you. so I, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with it necessarily for him politicizing the Black Lives Matter movement because he is black. You understand? Yeah. He can't change the, the, mm. the melanin in his skin. He'll always be a black man. And so he's advocating, he's got a platform and he's using it. And this is exactly what I'm saying. It's like, it's easy to say, when I win, I'll make a speech like that. But what if you don't win? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Hamilton didn't win yesterday. So he wasn't, he couldn't read his speech if that's what he was waiting for. So just advocate. Mm. You don't have to wait for a moment mm. to advocate. Mm. Even just deciding not to go to Miss Universe. You've ad- a- advocated. Imagine all the girls had decided not to go. I, re- I remember. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, but I'm yeah. saying, but instead of thinking, oh, well, I'll make a speech. What if everybody just decided not to go? I remember a few years ago, it's, it's probably two, three years ago, Mitch, mm-hmm. when black actors decided to boycott, boycott the Oscars, Oscars. Mm-hmm. because Hollywood makes it very clear, as good as there are movies that were supposed to be nominated they for don't. Oscars, they were just not there. They were just not there. Yeah. Oscars is a clear criteria. Do they have a clear criteria of like this and this is what needs to be in this movie? This, no, the for issue. This, um, for this movie no. to qualify? Oh, yeah. the, issue is, the issue is the black movies and the black actors meet the criteria, but they don't get shortlisted. And when they do get shortlisted, they don't win. Even mm. when they did a better job. Mm. than everybody else. Okay, like what movies do you think did better than the white actors? I, I, so I, I there's I lots of them. There's lots of them over there the years. Many, there there's are a many. There's a lot of no, people. Just, like, just use one example. I'll, I'll, I'll use one. Yeah. I'll use one. Mm. Um, Denzel Washington was up against Al Pacino for the Oscar. I think it was uh, sent of a woman uh, of... Uh, Training day, was it not? No, 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 no. For training day, he got the yeah. Oscar. Oh, all right. That was his first Oscar. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it was probably, I'm not, I'm not too sure, it was it John Q or whatever. Everybody said, there's no way that Denzel is not going to take this. Mm-hmm. And they gave it to Al Pacino. And there was such an uproar in Hollywood as to how, if you compare the quality of the two movies, mm. 
how this one got it and the other I one I love El Pacino but he wasn't the best in that sense of a woman uh, another example that was given by Tayshaun is Pursuit of Happiness Pursuit of Happiness yeah, Will Smith didn't win either it's true. so that we know that we know <laughs> yeah but listen why I'm asking that is like I'm just not into the thing of winning because I'm black I just don't like it mm-hmm. I don't like it to even if I lose for years mm. I want to win because of my pure talent Yeah. And people saying yo you were good you're the best out of me. Mm. I don't want to win because my people have an uproar against something and they are like oh let's just give it to him. But what if so we we shut them up? Oh, we, but we, we what if it was stolen from you? That's you the thing. <laughs> but that's what we're saying. <laughs> Look, I'm saying if you do your best, right? You do your best. And it's clear to anybody mm-hmm. that is a movie critic that that award was yours not because you're black mm-hmm. but because you're talented and mm-hmm. you did the best in that role and it's stolen from you and it goes to somebody else right yeah it's gonna it's gonna hurt you because you're, you're trying to think to yourself how much better do i need to be yeah. i've g- given my heart and soul to this mm-hmm. it's clear to anybody who was watching you actually even thought you would get it secretly you were like right. uh, yeah. you know what no guys mean yeah. and you don't get it Yeah. And you can kind of see it's a long like racial lines that you didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Why are you still going to say oh well you know my guy just it's it, it, I I don't want to get it just because I'm black. No, nobody is saying get it because you're black. We're saying get it because you're the most talented. Mm. But because you're the most talented black man nobody wants to see you. Yeah, now do you understand when we're saying that when do we say it's politics and when do we say like okay nice. Like you said was he's making the black lives matter thing political. And it's because he is black. You huh? You, no, no. Let me let me first explain. Okay. So, uh, Who are you talking about? Like Hamilton. Okay. Yeah, and then you then you agreed with it. Was like I think it's good that he's doing this and he's politicizing this Black Lives Matter thing, and he has the platform and he's doing it. You you remember you saying that? I'm trying to get you to connect it to Denzel yeah, Washington. Yeah, connecting it to uh, no no to m- me when I was saying, listen, I don't want to win because I am black. And mm. these people have to give me an award just to shut up my people for mm. protesting. Mm. So now they are not doing it genuinely. They are just doing it to shut you guys up for this time. But hey, take me. Please. Take me. No, I absolutely don't. Okay, but, 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 but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe, explain explain yeah. Maybe explain it to me. It's fine. All right. I, th- I, th- I, think, I think all I'm saying, okay, how I feel, um, Mitch and... Uh, and i don't want to water down your your youthfulness mm-hmm. compared to what is really happening in life okay, okay. you you still have a way to go he's never experienced in, racism yeah and and like you say you you've never experienced certain things mm-hmm. okay uh but my bro uh, they they in the past were clear clear indications mm-hmm. as to why we don't want you here and we will try and use every trick in the book to stifle your success mm-hmm. it's uh, there and you know what you 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 asked a little bit earlier as to give me give me examples of it yeah, yeah. there are so many blood uh, diamonds uh, they, uh, somebody okay. else said da- blood diamonds nah, blood diamonds is a cock movie no Sorry. blood diamonds the guy the the black actor the one that was looking for his jimmy hunzu He did a fantastic job. No, I uh, okay, it's just my opinion. Yeah. I didn't like the movie. I think it yeah. Uh, Tayshon, that was that's your yeah, that's that's your that's your take on no, it. No, I thought it was a yeah. brilliant movie. Yeah. Um come come comments, come please go comments. Uh uh Mitch you are off topic off, off topic again. Says Roviera. Uh, uh um, <laughs> I'm just reading what people are saying. Mutekurwa says Mitch and his poor reasoning. <laughs> uh, uh, back to default settings. Okay, uh, pursuit of happiness. That's what Tayshon says. Uh, same like Qatar, Norwegian football team called out the government due to many lives lost while building the football stadium for the upcoming football matches. Um, some countries will boycott this; others will go play. This is life and sometimes hard decisions need to be taken. Human rights are not respected here. Many died of covid others um due to bad working conditions. I just wanted to say I remember a few years ago 
we started asking the questions about Miss Universe also. And I don't know much about beauty pageants, uh, Mitch. Why is it, and somebody gave a few countries' names here of uh, who always seems to be winning this, Miss India, Miss Venezuela, Venezuela. Miss uh, Venezuela is a lot of uh, titles. Brazil, all these South American, um, Argentina, etc., etc. That even me, as a black child from Katutura, started believing that those are the most beautiful people in the world, Finnish and Clark. Are those people the most beautiful people in the world? Because there was a trend yeah, yeah. that only them wins it year, year on end. Can I read Shalago's comment? And he is very, very correct. He says, okay. to answer this, he said, I'd like to comment on Vedi because Vedi is the one who said it. Okay. He says, those countries she mentioned have big budgets and organizations that train their girls thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And that's what it boils down to. You look at places like venezuela right kids start competing from like age three or four in beauty pageants the parents put in the time they put in the effort it's a thing to win those titles they do your hair they put them in those cute little dresses they get gowns made for them these kids grow up in pageantry just like you grow up like in athletics or in football or whatever that's what they do. By the time they get to the country, like Miss Venezuela, mm. all the girls that are competing on this level didn't just start yesterday. Mm -hmm. Didn't just start now. Didn't just win one title. They've been winning titles and their parents or whatever, the communities invested in them winning. So they win the title. By the time they get to Miss Universe, they have all the experience. They know how to smile. They know how to walk. They know how to wave. They know how to sit up. They know how to structure themselves. They know how to conduct interviews. Mm. They know how to answer questions. They know how to work the crowd. Yeah. And it's because years of training and the resources there. Like, you think I'm Miss Venezuela is starting a GoFundMe account to get money to go to Miss Universe? That money is guaranteed. What did Miss What did Miss South Africa win? Let's let's give an example. Miss South Africa got a one year flat in Santon, located central for the whole year. Her fully furnished fiftieth floor apartment is catered for her. A pet house. She's got a car. They didn't come now. Pupkovets now. These coma fights. Who got a cheaper car than what? 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 A luxury car provided for her you should see the holidays she's getting you should see the beauty product she's getting you should see the gown she's getting mm -hmm. before she goes to miss universe there's already somebody that's going to make the national gown that's catered for she doesn't have to beg around there's photo shoots there's this there's appearances there's that there's this there's that she's making money to live off she's getting like in excess of like what 30 50 000 a month her own pocket money she's got donors and sponsors and whatever for the whole year, her life is catered for. She doesn't have to lift a muscle. Past Chelsea. Chelsea had to beg to buy makeup. She had to beg for her sister because she said the income she used to make, she can no longer make because the gigs she used to take before she was Miss Namibia. She's not allowed to take those gigs anymore as Miss Namibia. So she couldn't feed herself because she's a creative. She used to do stand-up comedy. She couldn't do stand-up comedy anymore as a, as a Miss Namibia. She used to do like modeling, like shoots she couldn't do those shoots anymore because it it, it bridges the co the contract for Miss Namibia so she couldn't make money but she's not getting support so now she has no. to beg and she was taking care of her younger sister no no my vraag wat ek weer vraag is there nothing i mean this woman what's her name Connie Marists mm -hmm. she's been hawking this beauty pageant for yes she doesn't want to give it 30 up 30 years or whatever yeah. plus and 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 uh, when um, what is this Kamanjikal? Yes, uh, Selma told when, them. When when Selma sort of Stop came it. out, the first Miss Namibia mm -hmm. to come and explain and expose and expose some of the happenings um, yeah. in this yeah beauty pageant family. We were sitting up and we were like, wow, is this is really what's happening? I was surprised girls still entered themselves the next year. So After Selma spoke, Selma said, Selma comes from a well of family. Mm. She said, me with my well of family. 
Do you know how much my parents spend on my outfits? Mm. Over 20,000 a month that they had to spend for her to just have clothes for all these appearances. Mm-hmm. Mm. And she comes from a well of family. She says, if I am struggling from a well of family, imagine the people that aren't as privileged. Mm. And people still want to go enter themselves. Mental health. She spoke on her mental health. Mm. The issues she had. Yeah, the so politics there. And mm. all that. Mm. And mm. people still want to go enter themselves. Jealous spiel. Jealous spiel. Uh, Vieira says, never are you as a black man that your life does not matter. Still friends with the specific Afrikaner friends of yours or or did tell me by you, Ro, there's no way that any of these racist bastards are my friends, okay? It's people, uh, it's people I know yeah. and who knows me, okay? Uh, on Salmakar Khrut, and that is what it is, but you know what, I don't want to be friends with anybody uh, who, who harbors um, racist sentiments, um, even in the game of sports so um uh, yeah 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 function yeah and function that i shall come my bro i shall come i shall come so i think i think mitch in 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 short i i th- i think and and you know what i respect what you say yeah. uh, for you it's uh it's it's a little bit different um but but anybody who sees uh blatant racism uh, whether it's in sport or entertainment or whatever, you 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 need to use uh, your leverage to amplify such injustices. Yeah. Um, it is important. They they showing Lewis Hamilton. It always looked like he had a dress on there or something. Mm. And that is what pisses people off about him. But black but lives nevertheless, matter with, his shirt, <laughs> with his Black Lives Matter T-shirt. <laughs> he, should, he, should, he should start doing this with his dresses on and winning these guys. What the dresses on? Yeah, but yeah. He should I, put I, it on I, after the after the win or what? Like she said, like just start doing it. He like, is. He He's been antagonizing. Yeah. He's been. What does an- the dress is the least of it? Yeah, he's, he's wearing his Black least. Lives Matter. Oh, shirt. and that it pisses it people it off. It yeah. pisses people off. Uh, what's the comment, Sadana? Uh, <laughs> Die Indian girls. It work a week ancha. Don't the hair for weeks come from them? She sold <laughs> her hair to a tent. Yo, yo. Ne- oh, oh, never. Uh? Sorry, man. do you remember when uh, the spring poker had this uh, uh, issue around uh, the, when the Black Lives Matter thing came through and then the spring poker, the black guys were like, uh-uh, uh, they took the knee or something and then these guys, the poor guys started like uh, uh, burning the spring poker t-shirts and, 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 what it and all that and mm. it, was just, it was just something else. I was like, what? <laughs> Actually, I don't find me plan. Mm. Or iemand anders gevoel. Mm. As I like t-shirt gekoop het met my faith on her. Mm. What will politics daar gaan? I plan dit die ek Politics doesn't do it for you. Nee, 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 ek sê maar net... Nee, 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 ek vraag. I'm just asking. Even if you see an injustice. Yeah. For instance. Uh, you, you would... You would not dabble into trying to amplify a situation I'll that is politically like wrong. In, in, I'll amplify it with my voice, well, but I won't destroy my property because of something like mm. that. Mm-hmm. I what, what do that. Like, what would it help me? Like, I will take my position and probably speak on it. I will what is, go what out is there and go, go, go strike. I will go out there and go, like, you know, I will do all that, mm. but I would not burn my property. What, 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 is, what is your take on footballers in the English Premier League taking the knee? Dude, I'll do that. I'll take the knee. Okay. But I will not burn my soccer t-shirt. Okay. It's just not something I'll do. I don't mm. agree with that. I'll take yeah. the knee. I'll go out. I'll strike. I'll do all that. Even if he says it's poor reasoning, <laughs> I'm not burning my stuff. That's it. Uh, Maria, answer the question, please. About what? There, there are questions being asked here on the stream. Uh, and you are my seeing... Is on, on so COVID <laughs> <laughs> As Tommy says, it's not... Connie's problems. There ain't enough sponsors. 
she have certain sponsors but they have their limits so it's up to companies to sponsor the miss namibia uh maybe hopefully the miss universe crown will come again michelle still hold the namibian title uh but estomish what is your take on 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 what uh kamanya said uh, a few years ago yeah i know estomish loves connie merit and yeah. she's defended to the bitter death yeah but um, she's been criticized a lot for mm. how she's running and she's hogging it and she doesn't want to give over the organization. She obviously has the country rights mm. to host Miss Namibia. Nobody else can host Miss Namibia. Nobody else except Connie Maritz. And she obviously cannot bring in the sponsorship anymore, but she's refusing to give it over to somebody else. I mean, let me tell you something that was very impressive here and, and most people don't even realize it. When we had Miss Supranational, the country organizer went with the girl mm. to go participate. Oh, yeah, I remember. And she won there. And even the previous girl that became first princess, mm. he went there with her. When she came here for the interview, he was outside. You guys didn't see him, but he was outside. When she went to State House, he was right next to her. He goes with her for all the interviews. He's there. He's a support system. He makes sure she needs Miss south africa i think went with a team of 10 people including mm. f makeup person hair mm. person wardrobe person everything chelsea went alone chelsea went alone to do she has to do her own makeup she has to do her own hair she needs to carry her own gown she needs to make sure that they fit if she needs a zip pull she has to ask one of the girls that's close to her and so forth and so forth people come with whole teams to miss universe chelsea went solo do you think that is a person that stands a good chance? My 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 my, my, my question my question to you, Estomich. Uh, we are very quick to judge politicians who are hogging certain positions because you know what we want creativity, innovativeness, change, improvements um, in in whatever industry. Uh, we are involved in whether it's sport, whether it's uh, whatever, and 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 maybe Estomich, maybe you can enlighten us as to how Connie Maritz has changed the game for the good in let's say the last five to ten years. <laughs> Please enlighten me. Crickets. I, I I have no problem with listening to what you are saying. But please, you know, as stupid as I am standing here from the outside, even without Kamanya saying what she said two, three years ago, mm -hmm. I still need to see what changes this woman has brought to this beauty pageant. So, and, and like you rightfully say, uh, Estomich, if she can't attract sponsors anymore, why can't she as the custodian of this beauty pageant why can't she attract sponsors anymore because she has a responsibility to go out there because it's her brand most yeah to make sure that this pageant takes place takes place and, and that obviously the winner wins something. improves yes. year yes. after year uh estimate says people criticize but how do they help come with ideas there's a lot that people don't know about uh, Kony as the organizers. <laughs> Girls do get training, model, and ramp. The sponsors should cater for a stylist and more. I'm but asking again, what is Kony doing to attract sponsors but here's to the, the brand? Here's also the thing. What Estomish was under Kony's tutelage like over 20 years ago? More, possibly. Like, you can't expect the Connie you know 20 years ago is the same Connie today. You can't expect the standard with which Connie took you under her wing 20 years ago is the same one today. We've had a, a competitor, Selma, come here in the studio, speak very candidly about what she's experienced. That wasn't even five years ago. That was like, what, four, three years ago? Um, do you want to say, like, she's lying or... that? We all experience people differently, but maybe she's lost the ball. Maybe yeah. Connie has lost the ball. No, 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 no. You are wrong. Okay, Maria, you are wrong. Samuel is right. Okay, Samuel Makale says Kamanya will say that Cosmos Namibia is a hassle, not a spoon feed kit of platform. Maybe her Kamanya is used to spoon feed. Yeah. So don't come here. Yeah. 
talking Devil. nonsense about Connie here. Devil. Now yeah. you see where we differ. I, as Mitch, would not participate in a national sport that's not going to better my life and that I have to invest more than I can get out of it. Patience says. will not do it. Patience says, in all honesty, Connie failed Chelsea. You could make me net quad. Come and can drink for a iman fluk. Chelsea's part, I agree. Like oh, things I've read and that I've heard that she had to go through just to be, just to follow her dream. And I know Chelsea. We we've done comedy together. I know her. Uh uh-uh. I was not gonna do that. Very. You know what? You you're asking me what changes can be made to a beauty pageant. You know what? <laughs> we can all have our little, you know, dumb, dumbass, but dumbass opinions, ne? Yeah. But I can't tell you, Vedi, yeah. because I'm not in the industry. All I can say is that after Kamanya was speaking, uh, many other former Miss Namibias came out saying it's true. When I was crowned, nothing else happened in my life afterwards. But I know okay, dood blomme gegeer. One even got dead flowers <laughs> on her crowning. <laughs> dead flowers. Yeah. Guys. So 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 I don't know where the. You can't even get flowers uh, to be sponsored. And and Rone, you must watch your mouth, ne? Yeah. Don't come and tell my sister she's useless. That she must go and rest. Even the advertising around Miss Namibia has died. <laughs> You know, even Ro knows that even the advertising around Miss Namibia is dead. My, my friend uh, uh, was emceeing one of the Miss Namibia's thing, and he told me about it. I was like, yo, that that still happens. What? The top the guy was emceeing Miss Namibia. Okay. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, that, I'm that so that jealous. Happens. Even oh, top. Top is kidding. Top. <laughs> I bet to host Miss Namibia. No. I never could host it. I think me too. <laughs> because I can't afford your fees. Huh? <laughs> like, uh-uh. Do you know what Connie Marat said? What? She went, she went public with it. What? She said, as long as I live, never Basson and Lazarus Jacobs will never host Miss Namibia. Hmm? But no. also Becca, ne, also Becca is the loss. But that's why the quality is not there. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's because I'm black. Jember, you jember, dear, get it, Maria, ah. Sylvia, Wakumba, two plumme. No, it's not two plumme. No, it's two plumme. Sorry, it's not my mother. <laughs> Afrikaans is not my mother. Franco Jose says, Miss Namibia and NFA same WhatsApp group. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Guys, you can guys say. Zwart mensen nee. Hoor je dat Jack en Kees? Ai, laat Connie net gaan. On that note, on that note nee. Jack en, your comment was the <laughs> last <laughs> comment. <laughs> Guys, enjoy your Monday. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Kom ik, kom ik lees gewoon wat ze is tenminste. Maria, it's not about knowing her, but why do some complain after not during... Connie need help, yes, but donors, I still know her very, Mary, Maria, we keep in touch, oh, her ethics and kindness, she doesn't treat girls differently, one has to be in there to see the good too, not just bad, I don't think people, people are sometimes, uh, estimate, people are afraid to be victimized if they are in something, and that is why sometimes uh, a lot of people would say, you know what, I didn't speak uh, when I was inside because of my fear of being victimized. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Tashon says, Maria, does Miss Namibia have a marketing team? Because they don't push even through the year. Guys, Connie failed Chelsea. Come and drink the good... Yeah, 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 yeah. Muni fluk ni. Shop! Blessed day! Some people are prepared to suffer. 